Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm doing a 24 hour fast. I actually did it on Monday but I'm uploading on Wednesday and my partner in crime for this is Keto Mama. I will leave her Instagram right here and a link to her YouTube channel in the description. I just wanted to take you through my day and share my thoughts and my feelings so let's just get straight into the video. I woke up at 7.50 and now it is a little after 8 and that means I am just over 14 hours into my fasting which is crazy. I downloaded an app last night which tells me how long I've been fasting, how long I have to go. I feel like it would be harder just thinking, oh, I have to wait until six because I feel like you're just like six o'clock is far away, you know, because it's only eight in the morning right now. But if you see it on the phone, you're just like, I can do this. Like, I think that's a little over nine hours and that's like, you can do this. I have my water with me and I'm going to drink, drink, drink water. <laughs> it is a little bit after 1140 and I am still going. I'm drinking tons of water. I don't know if anyone else has experienced this and maybe because it's my first fast, but I'm hungry. Like my stomach feels hungry, but it's full because I've been drinking tons of water, but then that feeling of when you're hungry and <laughs> I'm like, oh, it's so weird. And so then I'm thinking, well, what am I gonna eat, you know, to make my stomach not feel full? And then I'm like, oh wait, <laughs> like you're fasting. But I think that's just because when you feel that feeling in your stomach of being hungry, you usually go and eat. But then it's like my stomach feels full. It's just like a weird feeling that I've never felt before. But it's not to the point where I'm like, oh my gosh, I need food. Because it's almost 12 o'clock. So that means six hours. I only have around six-ish hours to go. And that's crazy to think, like, that I've almost fasted for 24 hours. I decided to get some physical activity in today and I'm watching How to Get Away with Murder. I don't know if you've watched it, it's on Netflix. You should watch it because it's addicting. And while I'm watching that, I'm getting some Fitbit steps in. I'm at 5,000 right now and I feel like exercising has helped me get my mind off food a little bit because I think I'm someone where I wake up and I'm like, what am I going to eat for breakfast after I'm done eating? What am I going to eat for lunch? What am I going to eat for dinner? I'm someone where I'm always thinking about food. And I feel like fasting helps because, you know, I'm not eating food. So you can't like, it just helps my mind constantly not think about food. I only have five hours to go. It is one o'clock doing this till six o'clock. That is crazy. 24 hour fast. It's it's not as hard as you think it is like you think 24 hours without food yeah you're hungry but water does fill you up it's different because I get to eat at 6 o'clock tonight whenever I think of a fast I'm like I can't eat for 24 hours I never have thought about it it's like 6 to 6 so I am stoked to have dinner tonight <laughs> And I don't know, I just feel really proud about myself because I let food take over me 24-7. I think way too much about food. It controls me, controls my emotions when I'm upset, just feeling down, stressed. Literally any emotion I have inside, straight to food. Like, straight to food. And I feel like fasting can really help this because you are taking away the power that food has over your mind. It is 8.30 and I have been so busy since I last updated you, but it is past 6 o'clock and I finished my fast and I ate dinner! <laughs> Finally, I forgot to take a picture. 
end of video. I <laughs> I got pretty busy today, so it just kind of like, bleh. but I just wanted to get on here and tell you that I did it. I did have some times because I was at my mom's house and there was some urges to snack on things, but I didn't. I held off until six o'clock and then I had dinners at my mom's house, so I'm feeling really good. I wanted to answer three questions for you. Is it hard? Does it help? And do you feel hungry? Number one question, is it hard? No, I don't think it's hard. And I say that with like a no kind of face because if you go from five to five, like 5 p.m. to 5 p.m. or 6 to 6, 7 to 7, whenever you eat dinner to the next time you're going to eat dinner, if that makes sense, it's not hard because you eat dinner and then you wait a little bit and then you are sleeping for most of that time. So your fast is like a majority of your time sleeping because I woke up and I was 14 hours into my fast. So I was halfway done with my fast and I slept for <laughs> most of my fast. So I don't think it's hard. I think the thing about it is you are just drinking water and our thought, well, my thought in my head is every day, and I said this in my video before all of this, is what am I gonna eat for breakfast? What am I gonna eat for lunch? I'm always planning what I'm going to eat. My thoughts are always consumed of food. So that's the hard thing about it, is getting my thought process out of food. So I don't think it's hard, I think my thoughts are the hard part about it. Number two, does it help? Yes, I think it does help. If you're looking just to drop a few pounds, you will drop a few pounds. I wasn't looking for that, I did check my weight, but I didn't record it or anything because I wasn't focused on the weight, but I did lose three pounds, which I think that's crazy that a water fast can make you lose that much weight in one day. I think that it helped me with my mind though, because I'm always so focused on food. Food is a security blanket 100% for me. And I think if I keep fasting, it can help me get out of the security blanket of food always making me feel better and food always constantly being on my mind so I can get out of it always making me feel better, you know, so I can just have the relationship of food just being food to be a nutritious thing for me instead of being an emotional thing for me. So I really believe that this did help me. Number three, do you feel hungry? Yes, 100 million, zillion, trillion percent, you do feel hungry. It's like when you're going on a road trip and all you do is snack, and it's like snacks don't satisfy you. They don't fill you up. And your snack in this instant is water. It doesn't make you feel like food makes you feel. And then once you get to your destination, your family picks out what you're going to eat for dinner and then you get to dinner and oh my gosh, it's lovely. <laughs> so you make it to dinner in this instant with the fast and it feels great to finally eat. It's a hunger that you can control. And I mean, I told myself, if you get to a point where you're so hungry that you feel like you need to eat, you can eat. Like, I'm someone that I do have trouble with emotional and binge eating, so I did not want to, like, trigger that in any way. So I told myself, if you get to the point where you think you're going to, like, eat, like, it's going to trigger that, then just eat something. But I did not feel that in any way, so... I think this fast really did help my mind and so yeah, I think it's a hunger that is controllable. It's not like you're, oh my gosh, going to die without food, you know, it's it's just like an, a hunger that it, you're just hungry, you know, but water feels like it was weird and I said this before, like I was full, like my stomach was full all day long because it was full of water 
but I was hungry. <laughs> it's just weird. I'm so glad that I tried 24 hour fasting. I had a really great experience with it. I don't know if I would be someone who would do more like 36 hours or 48, like who knows? I don't know if I could do that, but <laughs> we'll see what the future holds. <laughs> I just wanted to thank Keto Mama for doing this with me and keeping me motivated throughout the whole day. I really appreciate her. And a big thank you to everyone who supports me and my videos. I appreciate you all and I freaking love you. Don't forget to subscribe <laughs> and leave a like and a comment and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!